Hi friends and welcome to Second Read Aloud. Today's Read Aloud is Whistle for Willie by Ezra Jack Keats. Whistle for Willie. Oh, how Peter wished he could whistle. He saw a boy playing with his dog. Whenever the boy whistled, the dog ran straight to him. Peter tried and tried to whistle, but he couldn't. So instead he began to turn himself around, around and around. He whirled faster and faster. When he stopped, everything turned down and up and up and down and around and around. Peter saw his dog Willie coming. Quick as a wink, he hid in an empty carton lying on the sidewalk. Would it, wouldn't it be funny if I whistled, Peter thought. Willie would stop and look all around to see who it was. Peter tried again to whistle, but still he couldn't. So Willie just walked on. Peter got out of the carton. He started home. On the way, he took some colored chalk out of his pocket and drew a long, long line. He went into his house and put his father's old hat to make himself feel more grown up. He looked into the mirror to practice whistling. Still, no whistle. When his mother saw what he was doing, Peter pretended that he was his father. He said, I've come home early today, dear. Is Peter here? His mother answered, why no, he's outside with Willie. Well, I'll go out and look for him then, said Peter. First, he walked along a crack in the sidewalk. Then he tried to run away from his shadow. He jumped off his shadow, but when he landed, they were together again. He came to the corner where the carton was, and who should be who should he see but Willie? Peter scrambled under the carton. He blew and blew and blew. Suddenly, up came a real whistle. Willie stopped and looked around to see who it was. It's me, Peter shouted and stood up. Willie raced straight towards him. Peter ran home to show his father and mother what he could do. They loved Peter's whistling. So did Willie. Peter's mother asked him and Willie to go on an errand to the grocery store. He whistled all the way there and he whistled all the way home. The end. Look at all that stuff that Peter did with Willie. And he learned how to whistle. Do you know how to whistle? You put your lips together and blow. It's pretty fun. All right, friends. We have the couch potato pokey the last time today. So we are going to choose two more body parts to do. All right, friends, for our couch potato pokey today, we have our chin and our leg. So first one first, we're gonna do our chin. Ready? You put your chin in, you take your chin out. You put your chin in and you shake it all about. You do the couch potato pokey and you roll your arms about. That's what it's all about. 
All right, time for your leg. You put your leg in, you take your leg out. You put your leg in and you shake it all about. You do the couch potato pokey and you roll your arms about. That's what it's all about. Nice job, friends.